Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So, I'm asked all the time, why do you keep publishing YouTube videos? Is it profitable to publish YouTube videos? Maybe I should get into it, huh? Well, let me, let me tell you something. First off, it is very easy to publish a YouTube video. Anybody could do it. You really can. All you need is a phone. You could use, you know, some special camera, whatever you want to do. Uh, but I'm going to show you the cameras that I use. This is pretty much my ultimate, you know, vlogging setup. Um, I use every single one of these cameras. Uh, I use them for different purposes. So I'm going to explain to you why I use them, uh, about what they cost, and uh, pretty much, yeah, ex explain to you a little bit about how they work, why I recommend them, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's get started. All right, so the very, very first camera that I'm gonna show you that is almost essential for vlogging, for doing anything on YouTube, is a phone, is an iPhone. iPhone 6 Plus right here, uh, it has a great camera. The camera in the back is better than the one in the front. If you have an iPhone, you obviously have iMovie on it, which is great, you can do all your edits from your phone. You shoot it, you edit it, you, do, you, you crop it, you you know, take your clips out, whatever you want to do. Works great. I always carry my, carry my phone with me, so this is always on me. I never have to worry about not having a something that will record because I always have something. That is why I like the iPhone. Let's go to the second camera. One of the other cameras that I use, uh, I wouldn't say all the time, but I use it quite a bit and I've used it for a long time. It's this right here. It's a Sony Handycam. Um, this one, it doesn't have the external uh, microphone jack, but that's a big deal. Uh, you know, needs a memory card, looks like. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, this one, I always have it, has have extra batteries for this. Um, I think I have four extra batteries for this one. They're very inexpensive. I bought this one new for $179, um, about two and a half, three years ago, something like that. Yeah, three years ago, I believe. For 179 now I think you can get these for like uh, used. I think you can get these for like 60 bucks. They work good. Have the they have the screen. It flips around. Works great. Um, it's not touchscreen, but not not bad. Um, it has 35 or 32 times extended zoom. Shoots in HD. I use this mostly. Um, I actually have a few straps on this that you can actually hook it up to a bike. Um, so that's what I use it for. Uh, and this is more just outdoor activity type. Uh, it works good. Um, it gives you a pretty steady shot, which is nice. Um, yeah, not too bad. Anyway, let's go to the third camera. So the third camera that I use, this right here, this is a Canon uh, Power Shot. This is the 110. It's great because it has Im image stabilization on it. Shoots in full HD. It's wireless. Um, Shoots videos, obviously. Uh, does good with pictures as well. I don't shoot a whole lot of pictures, or don't uh, do a whole lot of pictures with this, but I do quite a few videos. The reason I like this is if you compare it to my iPhone, it's about the same. Uh, maybe that way it's a little bit better. There we go. So it's not much bigger than my iPhone, than just a portion of it. This is probably. Two and, my iPhone's two and a half times the size of this. So one of my channels that I do, I do, it's more on cooking, and so I will actually go into a restaurant and record videos on different foods, how they probably prepared it, and I will talk about some of the different items that they use. So this is the camera that I actually take. So in a restaurant, take this. It's very inconspicuous. Something like this, they would see sitting sitting on the table. Something like this, it could just be a tourist, and set it on the table, set it right on the table, could be recording, and nobody would know. Okay, that is what I use that for. Next camera, GoPro. This is a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. I actually have three of these. Scratch that. I actually have two of these. I had three of these. Okay, technically I still have three of these. One of them, uh, I had it suctioned onto my car, on the outside of the car. I was driving through a canyon and it fell off so the I don't know who ran it over somebody ran over cracked the case 
squish the GoPro and uh, yeah so the waterproof casings actually don't work very well for protecting it um, so get an actual quality protection case but that was all I had at the time so anyway GoPro pretty much what I'm using these for are all action shots I will place these around the car I usually have one on the, the front of the car facing forward have one on the side that's actually extended out a little bit and uh, facing forward as well get different shots um, do more of that for the action shots which then I'll take this one right here put it on a bike sometimes I'll take a GoPro put it on a bike but it just has a little bit wider of an angle um, so it's, it's, a, it's a great little camera for action shots um, these cost like I forgot to tell you the cost of a lot of the, the stuff but this one I think this one's like 200 for the GoPro Hero 3 Plus the Canon Power Shot. This one's you're looking about like two to two fifty. This one eighty dollars. Uh, the iPhone uh, six plus. You're looking about six hundred, I believe. Um, I think I don't know. But anyway, so with this, the main thing I'm doing with this are action shots, and obviously out of all the cameras, this is the one. This in it's in the waterproof housing right now because that is mostly what I do with it. Do underwater shots. Um, so stuff on vacation, um, whenever I go, you know, to the lake, go to, you know, the river, whatever, this is what I'm taking. Next camera. So the next one that I really like that if you've seen, if you saw one of my other videos, I talked about, you know, a pawn shop haul and I picked up this camera. Well, what happened? So this one right here, this is the Olympus Tough. It's the orange. It's the three... I don't know the number. There it is. Um, nope. Yeah, the TG860. That's what this is. TG860, the orange edition, the tough stylus. Anyway, has a flip-up screen. This thing is rugged. You're not going to break this thing off, okay? It's on there with pretty heavy-duty um, hinges. Um, so anyway, it's waterproof, shockproof. You can drop this up to like 7 seven feet waterproof up to 50 feet so it's a great little camera um shoots in hd uh video recording obviously and ultra wide lens i really like this one why i like this one and i know you, a lot of you guys you're gonna say oh you should get the the canon the g7x trust me i had a g7x and the whole reason i kept this one instead of selling it was because I was recording at the time I was buying this or when I was looking for this and the G7X fell on my hand I was recording like this had the the flip screen up so I was recording had this up fell on my hand screen hit the ground broke send in to get it fixed still hasn't been fixed I'm still waiting on that and uh, they said it's probably gonna be about two hundred dollars to get it fixed so in the end, if this thing falls on my hand, chances are it should survive, but uh, we'll see. So I really like this camera. I, I pretty much carry this one around instead of this one um, because this is the one I was pretty much carrying around most of the time. Then I switched to the G7X. Then I switched to this one, so I'll carry this one around. This one around fits in my pocket. Um, yeah, it's a little bit heavy, but it still works. So that's that camera. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys. So. The main, my main camera that I use pretty much for shooting YouTube videos for, you know, even going and doing like more professional stuff. It's right here. I use the Canon. I use the Canon 70D. Uh, works great. Have the, the Rode. This the video might go. Um, the reason I like this one. Now the, the Canon power, the Canon 70D. It's in right here. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll stop spinning around so you guys can see it. So the Canon 70D, it's a heavier camera. It's a pretty much it's a bulky little camera, but it works very well. Okay. So this one, I like this one. It's it has the flip out screen, so you can see, you can flip it over and go into like a selfie mode. Um, turn around, obviously. Uh, it works good. Turn on the. The lens that I have on it right now, it's an 18 by 55 millimeter, and it, it works fairly well. See, there I am. That's me. There I am. See me? 
Anyway, so we'll stop messing around. So it works really well. The reason I chose the Video Mic Go instead of the Video Mic Pro is because this one does not use a uh, uh, battery. So this one just hooks up right to your camera. So it runs off the, the power of your camera, which if you don't, if you only have one battery, it will be a little bit, um, it's gonna kill your battery a little bit faster. But the nice thing about it is with this, that you do not have to, that you don't have to worry about, is that you never have to turn this thing on. With the VideoMic Pro, the Rode VideoMic Pro, you actually have to flip it on. And if your battery ever dies in the middle of you shooting, you will lose all your audio because your camera will not pick up the audio when something is inserted into the, the external um, audio jack. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it works really well. This is the one I like to use the most. It is heavy, um, especially for vlogging. So I'll, I'll stand there and I'll you know vlog and hold it up just like that, which it's not, it's not a big deal, but it will get tiring. You will have a sore arm, sore shoulder, and it won't take very long for that. Uh, you know, I've been holding it, what, for 10, 15 seconds? You know, still fairly steady. Now, as far as trying to zoom in and out, try to do that, you know, still holding it up. It's gonna take a little bit. Now, you can use a, a Joby Gorilla Pod, which I have a few of those, which they work really well. So instead of holding it out here, you'll hold it more like right here, which isn't bad, but still, if you're walking down the street, you're you know doing a video, let's say you're in a mall, uh, I do a lot of haul videos, um, and then I do stuff at restaurants, and just action shots, stuff like that. So when I'm doing that, don't you think this is gonna draw a lot more attention than something like a little GoPro, or my Olympus Tough? It's gonna draw a lot more attention, I guarantee it. So just think about that. Now I've been holding this up for what? 45 seconds a minute? My hands starting to get tired. A lot of my videos are like five minutes, some are 10 minutes long. My hand, my arm would be very tired after 10 minutes trying to hold up like this, trying to be steady, yes. This camera does have image stabilization, it's very good, has one of the best autofocuses um, in any camera, which is why I like it, so uh, yeah. That's that one. All right, guys. So those are the cameras I use for my vlogging, for all my videos. Um, yeah, I have all the accessories. I have the the Joby Gorilla Pods. I have all the stuff for the GoPro. Have all the different attachments, accessories for that. Um, iPhone have different things. Have different um, contraptions to you know, hold it steady. Uh, I don't use a gimbal. Um, so one of the it's like the DJI or something. The I don't remember, or OGI, whatever, the like Osmosi, or I don't know the exact name, but it's a gimbal. It, it hooks up to your phone, and so you visual, or you can visually see what the camera's looking at. Works great. I've tried one out. It's just too. I don't know. I didn't use as much. So as far as the whole gimbal thing, just got rid of that. Didn't really like it. Um, might get one in the future when things change a little bit, but that's. That's my setup, that's what I use. And as far as video editing, as far as video editing, I use um, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro. Works very well. It's something that I've been, I've, took me a little bit to get used to it. At first, I was just hiring everything out. And uh, But as far as videos here on Homemade Entrepreneur, on the Homemade Entrepreneur channel, I'm doing uh, pretty much all the editing myself. Uh, only because it's taking just a few minutes. Uh, but as far as extensive et uh, video editing, you know, pulling things together, you know, throwing up different clips and slides and doing actual professional looking videos, that's something I hire out because I just don't have the time. Um, and I haven't learned all the things that go with um, Adobe Premiere Pro. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's what I use. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you are thinking about getting into the YouTube game, making videos, uh, you can make some money with YouTube, but you honestly can. So don't think that everyone that's shooting videos, they're you know making millions of dollars, because we're not. Some people probably, but others, you know, the majority of people shooting videos on YouTube, we're kind of just doing it for fun, kind of just doing it to you know kind of teach people, um, get out there, a little bit of marketing, and that's that. So again, if you guys have any questions, 
comment below. Let me know what your questions are. Let me know how I can help you. If you're getting started, let me know what I can do to help you get started. Uh, make sure you go like my page over on Facebook, facebook.com slash homemade entrepreneur. Send me a message over there if you want to. Just say hi. Just drop by, you know, whatever. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys very soon.